Warning, this is a family-friendly radio. Children of all ages are welcome to participate. This is my grandpa's steel caching talk show. Hiker James Aftercash is sponsored by CacheFace.Social. Like to meet new friends, share your photos, tell stories about your caching adventures. Go to CacheFace.Social. You might be surprised that some of your friends are already there waiting for you. So try it out today. It's free and it always will be. That's www.CacheFace.Social. See you there. News. Hello, geocachers, and welcome to episode 9 of Hiker James Aftercache. This is the um, 17th day of August, and yesterday was International Geocaching Day, which they have every year on uh, um, August 16th. And if you didn't know it, uh, you'll have to write this down for next year. But whenever you find a cache on International Geocaching Day, you have uh, a souvenir that they have they place on your uh, geocaching.com web page. And uh, it was kind of interesting yesterday with around here. Uh, a little bit confusing because it kind of rained a little bit each day uh, this weekend. And we were sitting there, uh, me and uh, Crazy Critter 1966, the other half. And we was watching a TV. And I was telling her, I says, hey, here's one. I was checking my email. I said, uh, if we go find a cache on the 18th or on the 16th that uh, we get a souvenir and she said well we better hurry up you only got about 30 minutes to find one and I looked up at the clock and it was already 11 30 p.m. I said well let's go get it and uh, so she went and got her shoes on I got mine on and I grabbed my GPS and I didn't I had the uh, I got I have two uh, two laptops that I download my coordinates on, and uh, one laptop doesn't work with the uh, download. Uh, so I went in the other room and I turned the other computer on, and I knew it was going to take a while yet for that to happen because um, it's just really slow. So. I run back in the other room and I said, well, I said, it'd be easier just to hand type this in. So I turned my GPS on and uh, downloaded the coordinates in it. And just luckily, it was uh, less than a, a mile from the house. The One of the caches that neither one of us is logged yet. And we took off out the door. And it was, um, well, it was actually about five minutes till 12 before we logged it. So, um, <laughs> it was, it was a close call, but I got, uh, we both got our souvenirs. And uh, so we was happy that that come out on the good side. Also, this weekend was the 2014 
geocaching block party in Seattle, Washington. I have a couple friends that uh, went there and they're still there, but that was that's an interesting little event, or should I say, mega event. And I was looking through the uh, the page on that where there had been. Uh, let's see how many there. There's a thousand. 133 people that will attend and so far as to today there's been 998 attended and the, everybody that had some travel bugs had placed them there and this shows right now that there's 964 trackables at the block party uh, the code on uh, GC code for that, if you want to look that up and, and see what, what that's about, is GC4CPG0 or an O. I get the O's and the zeros mixed up on here a lot of times, so I didn't want to give you the wrong one, but it could be uh, an O. So I guess we could look it up and find out and uh, so anyway that uh, they're having a good time out there in Seattle Washington for the 2014 geocaching block party and I don't know if I'd ever be able to make it out there not being that I'm from Ohio but I missed a couple of them that were a, a couple hundred miles from my house and kind of wish that I'd have took the time and spent the gas money to go to one of them. Also, we are still about the middle of the seven souvenirs of August. And if you've not heard of that, you can go to geocaching.com. And it'll be right there at the top of the page. You'll see it says seven souvenirs of August. Just click on that and it'll tell you what you need to know. And if you earn six, all six souvenirs, you can unlock the archive art achiever. And, and uh, so, you know, they have uh, six different types of caches that you can find. You have the, uh, the explorer, the puzzler, the cider, uh, the nature lover, the socializer and the collector so depending on what kind of caches you find this month uh, whether it be a multi-cache mystery cache uh, cito event earth cache um, uh, event cache mega event or gig event or virtual cache where i go letterbox you get the uh, souvenir for that and then at the end when you get all six you earn the the uh, souvenir to unlock the special souvenir okay yeah that's uh that sounded interesting to read about but I don't have that many different uh, types of caches in this area where I can get all six of them so I did not participate in that one this year I don't know if they have that every year or not but check it out and uh, you still have time this is uh this is the 17th um 13 14 couple weeks you got there to get out there and try to find all six of those so um hang in there and do your best we also have some good news about a geocache that has been found and this is a unique cache because it's been out there for since 2007 so seven years it's been sitting out there one person found that uh, first to find and I believe it was like three years after it was placed before they found it and so someone else had finally found it out of let me see, there was 329 DNFs on this cache. And uh, so the lucky second to find 
uh, just happened. Oh, let me see where I can find that at. And that was, wow. This was, this is odd. Let me, uh, let me check this out and I get back with you there because, uh, there it is. Uh, WC24 fan. And the second half, him and his other half is, uh, well, <laughs> oh, I'm messing this story up real good. Anyway, let's, let's go, let's go from here. Um, where they, where they had actually found it. And, uh, they said that, uh, they didn't know where it began because there's so many people out there uh, over the years that had come up with a DNF, and uh, and they cash a lot around the Madison, Wisconsin area, and wherever they travel, and um, it turned out to to be a good cash there, and they found it at toward the toward the evening. Uh, I believe it was around 8 o'clock in the evening. And they contacted the owner to verify that it wasn't um, a hoax, that it was the real thing. But anyway, if you are interested in reading on that, uh, the GC code is 1764C and uh, on geocaching.com. So just go in there and type that number in and it would take you right to that story and let's see yesterday Saturday I uh, got a chance to talk to a couple that um, uh, <clears throat> they've heard about geocaching but um, they've never done anything yet about it so I was explaining to them what they were and what the, what it was about and also we had met at a park uh, we had to discuss a few things there and when I brought up geocaching I asked them if they uh, wanted to see one of mine that I that I did have I gave it to another geocacher since I placed it there and they said sure so uh, we took a little walk it was about 60 feet from where we was sitting at and I stood back at a distance to where you could see it and I told him I explained the, the, the hint to him and everything and I said uh, do you see it and they looking and they said no we don't see it at all <laughs> I walked up there and I pointed my finger to it and they looked at me and they said oh no so you know wait from there you know they they would they was they was hooked pretty much on that one because uh, they're the outdoor type they like to hike and and go for walks and stuff like that so they're gonna check into it and get some more information on it so I gave them a card that I carry with me that I've I've made a like a business card and it explains what geocaching is and gives you the geocaching.com address and how to find all the questions and answers that you need to know about it and uh, so if anybody else out there is new at geocaching and they'd like to know what to do to uh, answer all their questions on geocaching uh, I'll give you that address here what you want to do is go to geocaching.com and over on the left hand side where it says, where it says geocaching Right underneath that, it says learn. And when you go over and, and hover your mouse over learn, it will say geocaching 101. And you click on that, and it takes you down to the uh, first thing that shows up is a little video. But right underneath the video, it says the game. And there's different questions on there that could be interesting for you to learn about geocaching. Uh, getting started, finding geocaches, hiding geocaches, trackables, and just just go in there and pick out one of the questions or more. More, if you, I mean, you can spend the whole day on this page. Um, tells you how to uh, place the cache, how uh, how not to place the cache. Um, it tells you uh, 
how do you hide one? How do you uh, submit new cash for publication if you're making your own or placing one that you've wanted wanted to be your own seal cash? How the game is played? Uh, what's the rules? Where are they located? All kinds of different things. And it's really inexpensive. You can start on uh, geocaching.com as a free member. It doesn't cost anything. Then they have the premium membership. And that, I believe, is like $35 a year. And, uh, of course, there's a lot more features that you get with that. But as a free geocacher, you can, um, if you want to go totally free, after you sign up on uh, the free membership, you can go to your phone and go to the App Store and download C colon Geo. That's C, the two dots, and G-E-O. And that will bring up a geocaching app. And you just sign in on that as you did on your geocaching.com membership page. And you're all set to go. Now, uh, geocaching.com has their own app if you want to buy one. And I believe it's $9.99 for that app. But I believe that's only for six months. It's like... Twenty dollars a year, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's what they they charge you for their app. I haven't ne uh, put that app on my phone, so I couldn't explain to you the difference in the two. But I've always used the uh, CGO, and it works really well. Uh, it, it just brings up the the everything you need to find a geocache right there on your phone you can log your find from your phone uh, you can go into the information on that geocache as well and it's really it's really a handy uh, cheap game um, not that the game is cheap but you know what I mean it uh, the only thing you're out of is if you're driving from cash to cash is your gas and uh, of course, if you're uh, close enough to them to where you can ride your bike or roller skate or ride your horse, and uh, it's just it's just amazing how much you can do uh, with the geocaching. So check all that out, and uh, I hope to hear from you about uh, you becoming a geocaching member. And let me give you some information how to contact me now and. If you have any questions or comments or stories that you want to tell, uh, here's where you can find them at. The email address is radiotalkshow2013 at gmail.com. And you can send uh, photos, uh, you can send messages, comments, questions, whatever you want from that. And if you would like to send a brief message, I have a voice message. You go to, on your computer or laptop, you go to speakpipe.com slash hikerjames. And when you get that page brought up, you'll see a recorder there. And you just follow the prompts and leave a message on that as well. Also, I have uh, my page, that uh, my main page is called uh, Hiker James After Cash, and that is hikerjamestalkshow.com, and you can go there and find some information also. I have a donation button on that page also if you'd like to donate to help run the Hiker James After Cash show. Or you can just go to donateaftercash.com and that will take you to the site where you can uh, either use your PayPal card or, or your regular um, credit card and just fill out the information there and send that. And uh, also, 
there's a contact form on that page where you can leave a comment and and that will get to me too uh, well let's see uh, I didn't I didn't really do any geocaching other than that one for yesterday for the International Geocaching Day and like I said it was kind of spot raining here and there so never really got much out of the house but I am looking at a power trail that was just came up and I believe there was 10 of them in that power trail 10 or 12 and the first nice day that we have I'm going to do that and a power trail is one where you someone has dropped off a geocache every 528 feet which is the the minimum distance between a cache and it's just drive down the road and stop and grab sign and go to the next one and so it's you can really rack up some numbers on your page with them I would think the 10, 10 uh, caches on a power trail you could probably do in 30 minutes or less so it's not like you have to drive from one to the other at a longer distance to to get your points um, well let's see uh, we've got about uh, 20 minutes left here and I'm gonna dig up some more stuff here to talk about well let's see we we do have um, this show now it's available on iTunes and if uh, you want to download the episodes on your phone from iTunes you can do that now and so we're we're happy that we made it up there with this show also um, our first show that we've done for about the last year and a half was um, Hiker James Geocaching Talk Show on Blog Talk Radio and we've decided to go pre-recorded because uh, that one was a live show and with the way things worked out with that we decided to go with the pre-recorded and hopefully that someone out there will send us a message or an email or something of that sort to give the information to us about your um, adventures during the week or over the weekend and we encourage the, the younger group to do the same and we uh, we want to hear from the younger side of the geocachers because their stories are awesome also and all we have to do is uh, get that information in and, and as long as we can get that information by Saturday Saturday afternoon yeah let's say Saturday afternoon I can um, edit that into the show and make a segment for your information and what you've done and and all the excitement that you went through this week or weekend uh, it could be something that you've done before uh, earlier than that it could be uh, your your favorite geocache that you found a year ago it doesn't matter uh, stories are good no matter how old they are and if you have a good one or even if you have one that's that's exciting just to you uh, send it in we'll see what we can do with that we'll put it on the show and uh, we won't put on there anything more th than what you want us to put on so you know if uh, we'd like to have your geocaching name and maybe where you're from like your city or state or country or Whatever, wherever it is you know you don't have to give me your home address I don't want that because if you send that it will be edited out of the show uh, we don't want to let everybody know where exactly where you live so it's just um, an idea of what part of the world you're from so people will know what's going on in that area and photos are really good for your geocaching adventures if you take us some photos send them and also in the email and we will post them on um, hiker james after cash page 
and if you want to go up there and see what we've got going so far like I said a while ago the address is after cash uh, hiker hiker James talk show dot com uh, after cash dot com is the uh, uh, speaker uh, program that I that I use to put these shows out with and so if you want to go up and listen to the last nine episodes uh, just go to speak uh, after dot com and that will put you right there uh, like the page, uh, like all the pages, and uh, whenever a new episode comes out, you'll be notified. And uh, the more likes we get, the more we like it. So jump up there and check it out. Okay, last week we was talking about a phone number that you can call. And uh, we can pre-record uh whatever your message or story questions or answers or whatever you want to talk to me about uh, that can be put on the show and um, I'm going to give you that number right now so grab your pencil pen, paper and write this number down and that will be 937 381 9343 now I'm, I can only answer this between 5 and 9 Monday through Friday that's 5 to 9 p.m. Eastern New York time because of uh, other things that I have going on that uh, that's, that's the only available time that I have to receive that call um Weekends, I can take that call um, 9 to 9, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Saturdays. And on a Sunday after 12, yeah, say uh, 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. on a Sunday. So, I hope you got that. If not, uh, you can just uh, go back to the recording here and write it down again all right now we are sitting at about um, 15 minutes to go the uh, the whole idea of this radio show is to have people on here to uh, discuss different things so uh, otherwise I just have to sit here and keep telling you about the show instead of talking about geocaching <laughs> I uh, know it's going to take a little while for it to get off the ground, but we are doing real good on um, our statistics on our program. Uh, it gets you just to run down there. It, every week it's gradually gaining uh, listeners. So this uh, that's, that's good because uh, as long as it's gradually growing, uh, we're gradually putting it on here and uh, I've only got seven followers on this show but if you go there and and like the show uh, there, there'd be more and follow me follow me on uh, speaker.com go to aftercash.com and that will take you right there to the page where you'll see where it says follow and uh, it's uh it's a real interesting world out there when it comes to geocaching. There's they're, they're friendly people. Uh, if if you if you meet a geocacher, they're your friend already. Uh, I haven't ran into anyone that was stuck up or didn't want to talk to me. And uh, that's like that the event I went to. How uh, was it? Been about a month ago. Um, there's people from all over the place, different states, and uh, they all gathered to have that geocaching event. But anybody, anybody, you just walk up to them and start talking to them, and they'll uh, they'll respond with um, happy greetings. Uh, let's see, what can we have on here? Well, let me th look and see what else I got. 
Okay, we can uh, let you know about. Oh, I can't get this thing to work now. Oh no, I shut it off, didn't I? Hold on just a second there. <laughs> okay, it wasn't shut off. I just, uh, I just wasn't doing it right there. Uh, for blogs, if you'd like to read blogs about uh, geocaching things in and around the communities. There's a geocaching blog from Open Caching North America. And to find that, you just go to blog.opencaching.us. And he has a lot of interesting articles on there each week. And right now they're doing the Divers Field Cacher Contest that will probably run, I think, until about the middle of... Uh, I think it was the middle of this month. I I didn't quite catch up with with that um, on the reading, but if you read about that, I don't know if it's too late to enter into that or not. I've advertised it before, and uh, they they have, are giving away a lot of nice prizes for that, and uh, it's it's in August, celebrate the 4th anniversary, um, August 18th, and month of International Geocaching Day. Okay, the entire month of August, and it says that they'll be running that, so you might want to check that out and see what it's about, and that's open, or that's blog.opencaching.us, and you'll find all the information there. Um, also, there's a, a website that's useful, and that's TravelFleas.com, and that is something that's interesting to look into. I'm trying to bring that up right now and let you know about that. But TravelFleas.com is a website where you can go and order travel fleas. <laughs> okay, what is a travel flea? You know, I bet a lot of people out there do know what it is, but um, it's uh, they're little little tags that you can order and have your geocaching name put on it, and you have a choice of some different colors that you can have your tag. And what you do is you attach one of your travel fleas to a travel bug. If you uh, find a travel bug in a geocache and you want to continue it on its journey, you just slip that travel flea on there with it and you watch, you put a watch on the uh, travel bug and you write down the miles that it's traveled up to the point where you found it. And then every time that travel bug it gets to another cache, another state, another country, wherever it goes, you'll get the uh, an email telling you that it's been moved, picked up, or whatever. And you can just deduct the, uh, the, the total miles on that from the miles that it originally had when you put your travel flea on it. And you can watch where uh, your travel fleas go. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it, it, there's there's pictures and pictures and pictures also of people that uh, when they go to geocache. And I, I always take my well, I, I take my phone with me because my phone really does a good pit, a good job taking pictures. I was carrying my little uh, pocket camera, and that is an awesome little fella. But uh, it's a Kodak. And I'm afraid that, you know, Kodak's not in business anymore. And so when this one wears out, I'm going to have to switch over to, definitely switch over to Canon. <laughs> then, you know, there's only a few good cameras out there anymore. But they're all digital now, you know. Uh, does anybody remember the 110 pocket camera? Hey, that's a good one. 
If you've never seen one of those before, look it up. A 110 uh, camera. You can still buy film for those. And uh, I had one of them back in my earlier times. And it, they really done a good job taking pictures also. But, uh, okay, the, the picture thing. Uh, uh, everybody likes to look at them. And if you send them to me, I will post them on uh Hiker James Geocaching Talk Show, uh, my website, which to get to that website will be hikerjamestalkshow.com. Just, uh, just let me have them. Uh, uh, everybody goes there to look at what I've got posted, and uh, it's interest. Some interesting articles up there also. Uh, let's see. If I was going to go up there and look and see what I had on first, well, of course, the first thing I have on there is cashface.social. And, and welcome to the new look cashface. And uh, it's, uh, it's a website where geocachers can just hang out. They, uh, they sponsored my, my radio show. And uh, me and the owner, the CEO and founder of CashFace.Social are really close friends. And uh, he is from the United Kingdom. But this is, a, this is a global network for geocachers to connect, share, and make new friends no matter where they are on the planet. CashFace gives its users the ability to connect beyond the localized groups and forum found on the social network and bring everyone together in one place to hang out. The new cash face is faster, slicker, and even more mobile and tablet friendly. So you just go to cashface.social. Sign up, it's free. And uh, you might have some of your friends already up there. And l let me know if you made it or not. I'm up there and... Uh, if you heard this on uh, on the, on my radio show, uh, put that in a comment. Say, hi, Hiker James. I heard about this on your radio show. And uh, we'll be happy to uh, assist you in any way we can. Uh, but, yeah, th th this website is for geocachers also. And... Uh, and like I said, you know, there is a uh, contact forum there. Uh, you can share this on Facebook and, and tweet it, uh, whatever you enjoy doing. Uh, Twitter, I'm also on Twitter. Um, Twitter.com slash Hiker James. If you want to go up there and follow me, do that. Wow. Time goes by when you don't have much to say. I wish I had a lot more uh, things to talk about or what other people have been doing, but uh, apparently this, this part of the show hasn't been off the ground yet, but we're still waiting, we're still hoping, and uh, we know we'll get there. So that is the way it goes when you start a new show. And... I will continue to do my best to advertise it on different social medias and I hope that you also send out the information to your friends and let them know about it. Um, that would be aftercash.com is where they need to go to listen to my episodes. Or up on iTunes under Hiker James um, you can find uh Hiker James After Cash. So, other places, uh, we're on YouTube. Uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can subscribe there also. That is um, YouTube uh, Hiker James 1. And uh, if you search that on YouTube, you'll find me there. So, like I said uh, before, the uh, email address to contact me is Radio Talk Show 2013 at gmail.com. And you can also leave a message, a voice message, at 
speakpipe.com slash hikerjames. Uh, and that telephone number that I have just released on this show is 937-381-9343. And it, it's your option whether we record this or not. You, if you agree with that, then I will hit the record on it. Edit what we don't want on there and play it on the show. And the hours for the answering this number is from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday, Eastern New York time. And Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern New York time. And we go Sunday from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern New York time. I throw that in there because a lot of people maybe not know what New uh, Eastern time is, but a lot of people know where New York is, so they can look that up and see what time it is compared to what time it is where they are. Now this is free. Uh, uh, the uh, speakpipe. dot com slash hiker james the uh, the voice message is free. Uh, all you need is a computer and a microphone. That's it. Uh, you just hit the record button and talk to me. Now you only got uh, 40 or 90 seconds to talk, but if that's not enough time for what you got to say, uh, just go ahead and send what, what time you have there and do it again and to continue your story. We can uh, splice that together, edit it, and play it on the radio. So, okay. Um, We've got uh, about three minutes to go, so look, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and, and call it the end of the show here, and we'll be waiting to hear from you. And uh, until next week, same time, same place. This is Hiker James with Hiker James After Cash. And have a safe week. Have a fun week. And. Just remember, only five more days to the weekend. So, enjoy it.